Hello, and welcome to Front and Central's coverage of the student senate elections. I'm Chloe Ammond. Today, we have a governor's debate and a political analysis. But first, here are your underclassmen candidates for student senate. Hi, my name is Brooke Corso. I'm a junior, and I'm running for senate because Central High School is safe in my arms. So you should vote for me for governor. Hi, I'm Sarah Berry and I am a junior at Central. I am running for Student Senate Governor, and you should vote for me because I honestly really care about Central and the students here, and I'm going to strive to work with everyone to figure out what they want to see in Central and make everyone comfortable at school. Thank you, Central. Um, hi, I'm Amanda Eshelman, and I'm a junior, and I'm running for secretary, and you should vote for me because I have a bunch of really great ideas, and if you don't vote for me, I won't be able to voice them. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Emily Fleming, and I'm in 11th grade, and I'm running for treasurer, and you should vote for me because it just makes sense. <laughs> hi, I'm Megan Lohner. I'm a junior, and I'm running for lieutenant governor, and you should vote for me because I'm committed, a hard worker, and I think I'm sometimes funny. Um, I'm Sarah Townsend and I'm in 11th grade here at Central and I think you should vote for me because I would love to get some activities um, here at Central to get everyone involved at school and um, I think I can bring a lot of energy to the Senate group. My name is Jack Boyce and I'm a junior here at Central. You can follow me at JackJurs on Instagram if you want. And if elected, I'm going to make this, the student sections the best they have ever been in Central's history. Jack Boyce for Senate. I'm Mary Armour, I'm a sophomore, and you should vote for me because I'm a really well-rounded person. Hi, I'm Jalen Brumfield, 10th grade, don't be a bum, vote for Jay Brum. Hi, my name's Sam Critchfield, and I'm a sophomore at Central High School, and I want to take this school to the top. Uh, I would love your votes because I think I can make these school activities that we do a lot more fun, and I'd just love to work with you guys. Be a homie G and vote for Sammy C. Hi guys, my name is Annie Fraze. Um, you should vote me for treasurer because $5 for a sub, $10 for a class t-shirt, but me for treasurer, it's priceless. Hello, I'm Martin Foley. I'm running for the typical center, senator position next year. Um, I'm going to bring the party next year. I didn't bring it freshman year, I didn't bring it sophomore year, but Marty will bring the party for his junior year. Thank you. I am Noah Kendra, I'm in 10th grade, and you should vote for me because I'm committed to making Central great again. Hi, I'm Macy Maidutsma, I'm a sophomore, and you should vote for me with a smile on your face. My name is Chris Mejica, and I'm not your average man, woman. And I'll ask you down to business. You should vote for me because I would make Central gnarlier than ever before, and I think it'd be pretty sick to run for Senate. Hello, my name is Jordan Weissen, I'm in 10th grade, and you should vote for me for Senate because I'll bring more diversity to the Senate board and I'll bring new ideas and viewpoints to TCC events. Hi, I'm Ranger Truco. I'm going to be a junior next year. I'm running for secretary. And uh, I'm not Donald Trump, but we're going to make Central great again. I'm not Bernie Sanders, but we're going to work towards equality with the student body. I'm not Hillary Clinton, but I'm not Hillary Clinton. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Caitlin Arguo. I'm in ninth grade and I'm running for Senate this year. You should vote for me because I have some killer plans for next year and I can't wait to make them happen. Have a good day. I'm Preston Briggs. I'm a freshman, class 2019. Um, I'm running for Student Senate to uh, you know, increase uh, student activities, maybe increase uh, participation by students at football games, basketball games, and uh, all other sports and try to make the school better. My name is Ike Battle, I-K-E-B-A-T-T-L-E. -E. I'm in ninth grade, and I'm running for student senate because CHS is on the road to greatness, and it's going to be huge. All right, we got, I got business partners in China. I got business partners in India, and they're saying that CHS is on the road to greatness. And you know what? I'm about to take it to the top when I get involved in student senate. So you should vote for me, and it's going to be huge. It's going to be the biggest deal you've ever seen. My name is Meg Holtz. I am in ninth grade, and if you vote for me for Student Senate, then I will do my best to give the people a voice. I'd like to set up a box where teachers and students could put in their ideas on how to fix or change the school. And I'd love to do some things fun, you know, start a pajama day or some other things like that. 
Hi guys, my name is Mary Pupil and I'm in ninth grade running for Student Senate this year. And I was in it this previous year and I really enjoyed my time in there and I would just really appreciate your vote so I could enjoy another year in Senate. Hi, my name is Tobin Schwanke. I'm a freshman. It would mean a lot if you guys would vote for me for next year's Student Senate class. What makes me happy is if you guys are happy and I'll do my very best to keep it that way. Hi, I'm Abigail Van Etter. I'm in ninth grade and I'm running for Student Senate. Um, you should vote for me because I can help you have a killer year because I have good ideas. I already have ideas planned for next year, which would be super sweet if we could do them. So I need your help for the vote. And it'll be sweet. Yeah. Hi, I'm Marley Mindertsma. I'm in ninth grade and you should vote for me for Student Senate because I'm a lot of fun and I'll make this school fun too. Hi, my name is Jack Olson, and you should vote for me because once you go Jack, you never go back. Yeah. yeah it's kind of, kind of a weird setup we got here, but I think it'll be fun. Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Front and Central. I'm Greg Haggerty, hosting the 2016 Senate Governor Debate Show. Today, we're joined by three governor candidates, Sarah Berry, Brooke Corso, and the late entry Lee MacArthur. We first begin with the candidates' opening statements. Sarah, why don't you start us off? Oh, I'm Sarah Berry. I'm a junior and I'm running for Student Senate Governor. I basically live off of mac and cheese, and I want to make center a, Central a better atmosphere all around, like more friendly people, more friendly events, and I just want people to feel comfortable coming to our events, and I want to talk to the student body about what they want. Thank you. Okay, Brooke? Yes. Hi, my name is Brooke Corso. I'm a junior, and I've been in Student Senate for three years. I'm running for Governor because I'm really passionate about Senate. I want to make it more inclusive, for everyone at our school and not just cater to a certain group and just work to make Senate a place where people can go if they have ideas for events or they have issues with the school and we can try and fix them. Thank Lee? you. I'm Lee MacArthur and um, I'm, I'm a senior and I loved Central so much I decided to stay around for another year and um, I really think I could help out by being governor. Um, I know what student section, student section should be like and I'm really excited to come and try to make Central even better than it already is. Okay. Now we move on to the debate section of this show. All the questions that are asked are open to discussion. Now, if you were replacing Governor Snyder as the real governor of Michigan, what would be the first thing you would do? Fix Flint. You gotta fix the water. I mean, that's just so bad. Yeah, that's a popular response. Mm -hmm. Um, my goal is to um, help fix education because they say it's great, but it's not really great because look at me, I'm standing around for another year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, what I would do, I like, Really want like sometime in my life I want to start a nonprofit for um, homeless people. That's like just something I'm super passionate about. So I'd probably work to do that. I think it's a really prominent thing in Michigan that people don't really notice. Yeah. So, yeah. It's true. Okay. So as the governor, what events would you really push for or kind of try to bring up the prominence of or maybe add to the roster of events that we have? Well, I think that we have a lot of events that I want to keep doing, such as Haunted House, Blood Drives, things like that. But I really want to reach out to the student body and hear from them what they want. I think that as senators, we only really see a certain part of the social construct of our school. So I think that if we open it up and have people come to us and say, hey, you know, I would really, really love if you would do a hula hooping tournament. I'd be like, yeah, of course, let's do it. Yeah, so. and I think like what we've been working on in Senate right now is having a huge assembly with all the juniors and just kind of talking about what they want to see Senate do and what we need to see them do because right now like what I really want for Senate is to have like the equivalent to maybe like West Bleacher Creatures because they have an awesome student section and yeah. I want to have that at our school because it's so fun and like they have awesome events and I just want to work to figure out how we can have those great events and probably just like talk to people about that and get other people's input rather than just keeping it in Senate. Yeah, so really making participation better, I think, is a goal of both of us. Just yeah. making the school more fun, where people are excited to go to games, excited to go to events. Just really hyping up participation. Yeah, like understanding what people want to see. Mm -hmm. Right. We're not yeah. saying anything nice about West, by the way. We don't, we don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Lee? Um, I think we need to, like, pump up, like, get students more involved. Because I know mm -hmm. when it goes to assemblies, most students don't want to go. Me being one of them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I think we really need to get students to go and like add in like something fun like teacher wars, like having teacher dodgeball and seeing a teacher get pegged in the face. Because <laughs> sometimes I'd like to see Mr. Dett get hit. I love him. He's a great guy. But sometimes the teacher just needs to get hit with the dodgeball. I agree. Especially Mr. Odette. Yep. Now, if you could have a running mate to choose with you to bring up to uh, governor, I guess, as your vice governor, who would you have with you and why? Oh, my gosh. 
It can be anybody. It doesn't have to be stupid, would, but it can be. Okay. This is like without a doubt. Mine would be Ellen DeGeneres because I am obsessed with her and she is like the nicest person in the entire world. And I feel like if she was like leader of the free world, everything would just be fantastic. Like she might not have like good foreign policy or anything, but she is just a great human being. All right. Student senator, leader of the free world. <laughs> True. Well, as it is Star Wars Day, I would have to say Chewbacca. He's super loyal to Han Solo. I would be the Han in this situation, and who doesn't love Chewbacca? He's awesome. Could we understand him? I Probably could translate yeah. for him. You know Han and Chewie, they understand each other. That'd be me. Okay, okay. Couldn't save him, though. Um, <laughs> it's too soon. I, I would probably um, have Norm, our uh, Front and Central's mascot, two reasons. Yeah. Um, one, because he has a bird's eye view of Central. He's the best candidate. He knows what's going on. And two, he's a great looking guy. And um, I wouldn't want to go you. against anyone with that class. And he's a great guy to have at my side. He has some like, nice pearls, too. Oh, looking yeah. good. I dressed him up, by the way. I came up with the He's outfit. pretty cute. Yeah. Good outfit. Best choice right Prom there. Prom date, maybe. Ask oh, yeah. Him, please. I'm, I'm actually thinking about asking him. <laughs> As we wrap up, each candidate is going to provide a closing statement with. Sarah, starting us off. So you have 15 seconds. I just keep starting us off, don't I? Oh, yeah. Well, You're closest to me. So. <laughs> Overall, what I just want to do with Central is collaborate with the students. I know I keep saying that, but it's super important to me just to understand what people are thinking. Because right now, Senate's just kind of Senate. <laughs> and we just want to reach out to other people and just to cater to other people. Thank you. I would really appreciate it if you would vote for me as governor. As governor, I would really, really try and cater to the student body. If you ever had issues with anything or you have any types of ideas, you could always come to me and I would really do my best to make Central what you want it to be. So I'd appreciate your vote. Thank you. I honestly think I'm the best candidate because I've been here for a long time and I know mm -hmm. what to do. I am better than these two other people. I am different oh. and I know what to do. I know how to go make a name for myself. I've been here. Everyone knows me. Might as well keep me around for another year. Lee MacArthur for governor. Well, you're a joke. <laughs> now, stay tuned for political analyst Jack Boyce and Fletcher Ryer. I'm Greg Haggerty for Front and Central. Alrighty then. That went pretty smoothly. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hello Central, I'm Jack Boyce and you're joining me here in the Front and Central studios with our resident political analyst Chloe Ammond. And what you just saw were three candidates running for the Student Senate Governor's Office, and they debated over very controversial topics, explaining why they should have your vote this Wednesday. Thanks for having me on the show, and you're exactly right, Jack. From the very beginning, it was clear that these are two very similar candidates, so the voters should be on the fence on which to pick in today's election. Except for Lee. Seriously, we aren't even going to talk about him. Now, I agree with that, Chloe. I'm going to have to question Lee's legitimacy due to the fact that he is a senior and that he has a real potential to drain the votes from the other candidates, Corso and Barry. But personally, I'm definitely undecided in this race as of right now. Two overqualified senators, both serving three-year terms on the Senate, so in those regards, they are dead even. You're right, Jack, and it's apparent that they're both going to use their influence as an advantage. Mr. MacArthur is inexperienced and dangerous for the fragile democracy of CHS. And it's really going to come, come down to advertising campaigns, Chloe. This is where this election will be won or lost. And due to the fact that MacArthur has no campaign platform or outreach, I think it's safe to say he's mathematically out of this race. I believe you're exactly right, Jack. Now here's a look at some of the advertisements coming from Sarah Berry's advertising campaign, even reaching out on social media. But one has to believe there is a time when it goes too far. Now that's very true, Chloe. I think another major factor in this race is, does the student body think you're forcing their hand to the ballot box this Wednesday? Are you over-advertising? That is a correct assumption, Jack. And it also comes down to what is being said by these candidates. The student body is desperate for leadership. And which of these candidates is going to be a better replacement for the unflappable and affable Mike on the mic? Which one can harken back to the days of the Lucas Battle administration? Now that's spot on, Chloe. Mike on the mic was an unflappable leader, yet there were some pitfall pitfalls associated with his administration, don't you think? Yes, I do believe there is room for improvement with these candidates. And one of the issues the student body is demanding change in is a better student section. Now that is a very hot topic on this year's campaign trail, Chloe. And both candidates appear to be sharing the same stance. 
and it's not yet clear to voters which one will follow through or if either of these candidates can follow through. You're right, Jack. It seems at this point on the campaign trail, they are quite literally saying the same things. A recent Front and Central poll revealed that student Senate approval ratings are down, and also that the student body of Central High School would like to see more food, longer dances from the Central Dance Team at sporting events, and at least seven life-size cutouts of Rick Vandermolen placed at regular intervals in the gym hallway. Did either of these candidates mention this, Jack? If they did, I sure didn't hear it. Oh. Breaking news, folks. Sarah Berry owns a green and gold fish, which is the color of West, our, our enemy. Wait, Brooke Corso's favorite color is green. We, we have, have to vote, to vote for, for Lee. Lee. But we said he was out of the race. Well, I guess he's not. Oh my gosh. Well, for Front and Central, this has been Jack Boyce. And I'm Chloe Ammond. Ridiculous. Hello? Mom, I told you my phone isn't working. M Mom, it's not working. It, it, it just, it does that thing where the spinning, the spinning wheel. Yeah, yes, the one that, yeah, what happened to Grandma, yes. I, I told Dad I was going to be at dinner. Yeah, Dad knows I'm not going to be at dinner. Well, I'm going to swing by someone's house and uh, I'm going to poison their goldfish. Yeah, it's it's a normal thing. What what do you 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 didn't do that as a kid? It, you know what? I I'm just going to call you. I'm going to call you back, okay? No. No, no. Okay. Yep. See? Yep, you're breaking up. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. See?